What is your ideal pregame fit for a basketball game? Ooh. Ooh. It depends on the weather. Mm -hmm. Basketball is all year. Mm -hmm. So if it's winter, this would be ideal. Maybe I throw on a thicker hoodie. Mm -hmm. Maybe a long sleeve with like a, a vest, like a bubble vest. Mm -hmm. And uh, if it's summer, oh wow, that was an interesting. Uh, yeah. It's good for cramps. Really? Right, pre-game yeah. pre meal, cramps? I feel like mustard. I might have actually heard that before. Mm -hmm. That's what our in-house photographer told us. Hi, my name is Emmanuel. I play basketball at Laurier University and I'm on Bird's Eye View. Hi, what's up? I'm Penny Alexiak, Olympic swimmer, and I'm on Bird's Eye View. What's up, Celsius Fitz? You're watching Bird's Eye View. I'm your host, Sam Bird. And today I'm here with Canada's most decorated Olympian, Penny Alexiak, and Emmanuel Felix, Laurier basketball superstar. Ladies, how are you today? Fantastic, how are yeah. you? I'm doing well, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having us. No worries. Uh, Penny, I understand you have a friend on set today as well. Yeah, I do. Fiji is around here somewhere? My child is yeah. here, yeah. yeah. It looks like I, I didn't really get the, uh, the memo to dress more casual. I kind of went with a, a harder approach, I guess. Um, but that's on me. It works. My mom told me I look really good, so Love that. I trust her. Splendid. My dad said my tie doesn't look too good, but that's whatever. Um, since we're on the topic of fashion, I guess I'll just I'll dive right into it. You know, Celsius Fits is all about fashion. So could you tell me a little bit about what fashion means to you? <laughs> well, fashion to me is like just a way of like self-expression. So sometimes the way I'm feeling that day emotionally, you know, will be expressed through the clothes I'm wearing. Like today I'm all black. I'm not sad, but you know. Maybe a little bit, a little bit maybe, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I just always kind of found it really cool. Like growing up, my dad used to always buy me fashion magazines and mm -hmm. stuff, and we'd like go through them and pick out outfits. So for me, it's just been a part of life, I guess. And how do you translate that that fashion into the pool? Is there a certain bathing suit that you like to wear? <laughs> like maybe you know, in the spirit of being a Canadian Olympic swimmer, like maybe a Canadian tuxedo. I don't know if I could race in it. I could definitely probably train in it like once. Yeah. I'd probably be close to drowning, but. <laughs> close to drowning? Yeah. No, we don't want that. What would you say some of the, uh, like your staple pieces are these days? Cargo pants. Yeah. They work with everything. They what? fit any vibe. You could dress it up, you could dress it down. Those are like my go-tos. I was going to say that yeah. about Birkenstocks. <laughs> Birkenstocks, yeah. I still have to add that to my fashion wardrobe. I've gone to the club in Birkenstocks. In Birkenstocks? Yeah. Really? It's a vibe. They let you in? Yeah. Really? You just like flash a medal and they're like, okay, come on. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I feel like they let me get away with whatever. Yeah. yeah. I can't say I've worn Berg suit club. I have worn cargo pants to a club though. Yeah. But it gets too hot inside. Well, what else, what else are you going to wear? Like jeans? Get Theoretically, it? yeah. I've worn leather pants to a club. That's worse. Way too hot. Yeah. But like, I wore leather pants and a leather jacket at the same time. <laughs> at the same all black. time. Yeah. He thought it was the Vogue runway, so he pulled up in all leather. I did, yeah. yeah. But let's say you're doing a picnic in mid-June, okay? Okay. What is your like ideal picnic outfit? Are you doing like jean short, jor jorts, right? Not, would you love say jorts. jorts or jean shorts? I love jorts. jorts. So would you pull to a picnic wearing Jorts, Absolutely. or are you gonna pull up wearing you leather could. pants and, and all that? But jorts, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm like a skirt vibe. I was gonna say skirt. Even though you're sitting, like a Make long sure it's skirt. Long enough, yeah, right? like a floral skirt, yeah. like a cute little white tee, fitted white tee. Exactly. I like that. A little tote bag. <laughs> you're on this picnic. You have to build your ideal picnic around one of these three foods: a charcuterie board. A homemade sandwich, chicken salad, tuna salad, kale salad, cob salad, whatever you want. Okay. Or a fruit bowl, but in this fruit bowl, it's only cantaloupe. I like cantaloupe. Love yeah? cantaloupe. Yeah. Could, really? Could you eat that for the whole picnic though? I mean, if you're just like going and playing cards, yeah. Yeah. So you're bringing cards to a picnic. Has to be like a sweet cantaloupe though. Yeah? Yeah. Or we like honeydew. Mm. Honeydew's no. not cantaloupe. No. So realistically, if you're bringing cantaloupe, honeydews come along as well. Those are my two favorites. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And papaya? You lost me. 
Yeah, I had papaya you lost once. Me on papaya. Yeah, have you had papaya? No. It's good. It's like um, I'd say it's like if butternut squash was a fruit. I had butternut squash today. How it was, was it? It was like I don't know if it's always the kind of thing where I'm going to take a bite. I'm like, oh, I hope this tastes like sweet potato, but it doesn't. So you're a basketball player. Congratulations. You're an Olympic swimmer. Congratulations. Who's better? She's not the greatest basketball player, but if you train, you could literally be in the WNBA. That'd be cool. I wish I was your height. But if you're in my body, playing basketball, you'd be terrible. terrible. <laughs> Garbage. Yeah. Okay. Probably wouldn't make it past like elementary school. So yeah. it sounds like probably neither of you would be the better athlete. No. Based off looking at me, outfit excluded, what? sport do you think I would be a good athlete at? Can you give me like a golf swing or something? Yeah, like a, okay, A sure. vertical jump would be good. <laughs> sure. It's all in like the, the lower back and the hips from what I understand. So- I've heard that. Yeah? Yeah. So please excuse the, the suit's tight, so it might not be the best yeah. swing. Yeah. But theoretically, I, theoretically, I gotta stop saying that. <laughs> I'm coming in and I'm- Ooh, I heard a couple cracks. Yeah. You heard Just the cracks? Just based off the cracks? <laughs> the cracks? <laughs> Maybe chess? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a sport? Okay, okay. I didn't say coming here hurt my feelings. I said, let me know what sport to be better at. So, okay, Penny, you are the most decorated Canadian Olympian ever in the history of Olympics in Canada for Canadians in the Olympics in Canada. Appar apparently. Is it time to hang it up? Are you satisfied? I don't think so. No? What's next? The Olympics. And do you plan on going to the Olympics as well? Yeah, I'm thinking about maybe doing the table tennis. Really? That's intense though. I have that hand-eye coordination, you know? Yeah? Yeah. I might see you in Paris. It is pretty competitive. Yeah, they, they look scary. Let's say you're going to the table tennis finals and you're going to the 100 meter freestyle finals, okay? What is your pre-game outfit? What are you pulling up to the venue in? You get like Team Canada gear. Mm -hmm. It's going to be Lululemon. Oh, okay. At least it's so, nice. So, some leggings or something. Fiji, do you have a question? She's out. No. Yeah, okay, I must have scared her off. Table tennis out of the question. Yeah. What is your ideal pregame fit for a basketball game? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Depends on the weather. Mm -hmm. Basketball is all year. Mm -hmm. So if it's winter, this would be ideal. Maybe I throw on a thicker hoodie. Mm -hmm. Maybe a long sleeve with like a, a vest, like a bubble vest. Mm -hmm. And uh, if it's summer, Oh wow, that was an interesting. Uh, it's good for cramps. Really? Right, pre-game, yeah. pre-game meal, cramps. I feel like mustard. I might have actually heard that before. Mm -hmm. That's what our in-house photographer told us. I heard it was bananas though. The um, baseball guy. Potassium. Baseball he guy. He said, "Why monkeys don't get cramps? Because they eat bananas all day." No. Really? Yeah. He plays for um, Blue Jays. Ooh. You haven't seen that video? There's a few guys who play for Blue Jays. Oh, where he's like. You got a cramp in the game, and he's like, yeah, I ate bananas because monkeys don't get cramps. <laughs> Do we know that as a fact? No, don't <laughs> quote me on that. <laughs> I'm going to look into that. I don't know anything about that. I just think it's a better solution than mustard. That's, that's why I'm throwing it out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, now you have to chase with water. You wouldn't have to do that. With a banana? Jeez. What do you think about the water? That's Have you tried it? Yeah. It's good. I've had two bottles. <laughs> you like it? Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. If it's summer, sorry, jean shorts, oversized graphic tee, jorts. Yeah. Yes, a little baseball cap, mm -hmm. my Jordans. I'm summer. I'm well, yeah, summer league. Summer league, yeah. Yeah. Was okay. that good? Did that satisfy your hunger? You're I'm, I'm satisfied. Bathroom break soon. I was gonna <laughs> say. <laughs> I got some on my tie. How did you get into designing shoes? Oh, yeah. Ooh, a uh, COVID hobby. I've been a painter my whole life. I've been a painter before I started playing basketball. Mm. I've done art my whole life. And then uh, it took a back seat because I started playing basketball in grade six. Um, and then COVID hit, so there wasn't basketball. So I'm like, okay, I'll go back to what I like to do. And I'm a bit of a sneaker head. So I just thought, you know, let me just combine both of my hobbies and paint on sneakers. Okay, really? Yeah. What is the easiest uh, sneaker to paint on? Air Forces. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're leather. The paint I use is for leather. Timberlands would be kind of crazy. Right. 
do you give shoes to like your teammates, for example? Like, do you make for them? Not for free. Right. No, <laughs> not. But well, what about your coach? Like, if you're like coach, like you're dogging me with these minutes. Here's a free pair of kicks. Is that in play? Uh, maybe not. I like to go the moral route and maybe just like work really <laughs> hard for my minutes. What are your What are your top five favorite sneakers? Number one is Jordan Fours. I just like how they're Jordan chunky. Fours or Jordan Ones. Right? Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know the song, the lyrics? Yeah, do you want to say it one more time? Jordan Foles, oh, Jordan <laughs> once. Yeah, gotcha. Rolly, hey, God, more than one. Yeah. The shortest one. <laughs> the accent helps. The, the accent's it's killing. It's not bad, yeah? Yeah, Crocs. Mm. Dunks. High top or low top dunks? Low top. Lows. Okay. Oops. Is that even a question? High top dunks. <laughs> High top dunks. <laughs> I do have a gift for you. Oh. So, you know, you customize shoes. I was like, why don't I try my luck at customizing shoes? So we, we have a gift here today. Our PA, get in here. It's, just, it's a thank you for being here today. Okay. You go, you go. <laughs> thank you. I made them myself. I just want to. Oh. oh. Yeah. Are these yours? <laughs> those are mine. Yeah, I had those for two years. Oh my god. Yeah. Look, it's me. Is this you playing with me? It's us. Yeah. <laughs> it's us. us. Two M. Thank these you. These are kind of cute. Sam. Yeah. So look, this is the two of us playing basketball together. Why do I kind of like these? I think he's scoring on. I can't tell who's scoring, but someone's getting. Well, I'm in front, so I. The hair on them. Yeah. Them. So I'm playing defense behind you. Yeah. Okay. There's the hair. We have some DNA evidence on this shoe. What is it? We got a, a little hair little, on it. A little curl. I just wanted you to have a, a piece of me for. Bird's eye view, obviously, because we're on bird's eye view. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You like them though? Very good. I. It's so creative. Really? Yeah. Stop. It's so creative. Hold oh on. You should ask if people want these. Oh. I wouldn't put it that close to my Yeah, face. it really smelled. Yeah. Do you think that prescription goggles? would make you swim faster? <clears throat> a, would they make you swim faster? B, would they look cool because you can like tint them? You personally, yeah, because you can't see. I'll take, yeah, okay. But also though, some people swim faster like when they can't see because they just don't see anything so they just swim as fast as they can because they're scared. But what, what about when you have to do the, the flip turn? Also, are you a flip turn person or do you push off? I mean, I would push off if I had the option. Okay, so what I'm getting from all of this is that prescription goggles help. Maybe make you slower. But if I'm not wearing the prescription, if I can't see, I'm going right into the wall. Well, you see the wall. The wall's gonna be like... Or you feel and it's the like wall. yellow. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm used to the pool that's just all blue inside. Yeah, but if you're racing. And you wear number five. Yes. Correct? So. I know a lot of people have like reasons for why they wear their number. For example, I wear number 44 when I played hockey because that's how old my mom was when my parents got divorced. So <laughs> is there a meaning behind number five for you? No, I was number eight mm. for the longest time. Mm -hmm. um, it was Kobe before he was 24 and I just thought, you know, the come up, the rise, that was a pretty cool number. Penny, if you could wear a, a jersey number swimming, what would you wear? Probably 13. Why 13? It's a good number. Isn't it an unlucky number? My birthday's on the 13th. How many medals do you have? Have you collected over not, your- Not enough. Not enough? Not enough. Do you maybe want uh, one more medal to add to your collection? Maybe one, that'd be cool. Well, we actually have a medal here today. Oh. Come on, buddy, go get him. Thank you so much. I'll wear it. Half marathon. Who, who did the half marathon? Uh, I did. I was gonna ask. I ran the half marathon. So it says four penny BFF 4L. Where is that for you? This is, I feel kind of bad taking this from you. It's okay. Because I am taking this. It's okay. <laughs> That was my third half marathon, so. We're taking all your stuff, apparently. Yeah. I wrote on my shoes. I don't need those back. You could take them. True. Gladly. They're all yours. Gladly, I'm gonna frame them. What's your ideal um, 
dinner outfit? What are you wearing? I don't know, usually just like jeans and a cute top. Yeah. 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 Jeans. Mm, Come on. We're back here. <laughs> Struggling a little bit? Nope, I love it. <laughs> Can we bring the marshmallows on set, please? Oh no. I'm scared. <laughs> Thank you. These I are feel like you play with small, small. Yeah. So you know the rules of Chubby Bunny, correct? Remind me. You put a marshmallow in your mouth and you say Chubby Bunny. Okay. 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 <laughs> so, Em, mm. do you think that we should bring back knee length basketball shorts? <laughs> no. I don't like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Mm. Go I, don't, on. I don't like to feel the fabric <laughs> on my knee. Mm -hmm. I'm rolling. As a guy, right. you want to show your muscles. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're long, you can't use. What the, the, the socks, not the shorts. You oh, wait, shorts. Shorts. I thought you said socks. So, mm -hmm. Penny, how do you trash talk as a swimmer? Are you like between, like, are you like, Fuck you, you know, when you swim, you're like, how does it work? Like, you're slow, you're slow I'm gonna beat you. Like, you know, like, look at my medal count, you know? It's all in the, like, intimidation mm. beforehand. Okay. You just, like, stay quiet. And what about basketball? Usually we use, like, hand gestures. Mm -hmm. really? If I get a shot on your head, I'll go head top. Mm -hmm. If I get, like, a bucket on you in the paint, like, I'll right. say you're, you know, right. baby. Mixing the two is crazy. <laughs> you're saying, you're saying, you're saying, you're saying. <laughs> no, you were saying. He didn't rip it in half. No, I know. Mm -hmm. He's like four in. We're like two. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we are all ready to be done with the marshmallows. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. If you would like to spit them out, mm -hmm. I'm going to take an alternative route and I'll be eating them. <laughs> What's your favorite dessert? Dessert? Mm hmm. Tiramisu. So, it's not a Tim Hortons smile cookie? Ooh. I mean, those aren't year round. So it can't be my favorite. Because like, you can only get it once a year, for a week. And that's also not a dessert, that's like a snack. I would consider a cookie to be a dessert. I wouldn't. <laughs> Penny, word on the street <laughs> is that you're pretty good at balloon animals. Yeah. Is this fact or fiction? Pretty fire. Well, normal <coughs> balloons don't work for balloon animals. So you need, you're telling me you need specific balloons balloon, to do balloon animals? Balloon animal balloons, yeah. The long. Right. And there's no way that, that we can use the balloons, the normal balloons, not even if we try our best? We could try. Okay, well that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> this, these feel great. Wow, guys. <laughs> Are we all just making a blowfish? Yeah. Okay, do you want to see who can blow it up the most uh, before it blows? <laughs> Designer or thrifting? Thrifting. Thrifting. High top or low Designer. top? Low top. High top. Checks or stripes? Checks. Controversial. Checks or cash? Ca cash? Checks. checks? I mean cash, but checks. Cash. Silver jewelry or gold jewelry? Gold. gold. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Tea. What kind of tea? Matcha. Matcha tea? Tax fraud or car theft? <laughs> Tax uh, fraud. Car theft. Okay. That was so quick. That was too quick. <laughs> I can't breathe. Sweet or savory? Sweet. Sweet. Night in. Oh! <laughs> I was really hoping. I, I win. win. <laughs> Jeez. Where was I? Jesus Christ. Night in or night out? Um, night in. Out. Drake of the weekend. Drake. Oh. Flippers or swim shoes? Flippers make you faster, but I like the idea of swim shoes. Okay, and now to wear in public, flippers or swim shoes? I mean, Nocta came out with flipper shoes, so maybe right. those. Michael Jordan or Michael Phelps? <clears throat> Michael Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. Whoa, really? Unfortunately. Out of left field. Love Phelps, but... A tote or purse? Purse. Purse. And Eeny Meeny or Miney Mo? Mm. Eeny Meeny. Really? Eeny Meeny, isn't that the song yeah. with uh, Justin, Justin Bieber? Bieber. Yeah. And, Sh and oh, who? Sean Kingston. Yeah, great song. That's essentially all we have today. That's all the questions I have for you. Do you have any questions for me?
That kind of makes me sad. What was your favorite part about this interview? The mustard. Are you okay? No. <laughs> well, from all of us over here at Celsius Fits and Bird's Eye View, I'm Sam Bird. Thank you so much, Penny Alexiak and Emmanuel Fittix. Are you French? A little bit, half. We're gonna say full for today. Okay. For being here, I really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day, and you got a new dog, so it's an even busier life. Okay, you can, you can cut. Y'all can cut, so I don't need to do this. But thank you from all of us over here at Bird's Eye View and Chelsea uh, Fit. Are you cutting? Is he cutting? Oh, he ain't cut me. Oh, my God. That's four times. That's four times I did the mustard. All right, that's it. All right, that's it. I'm thank good. you. Thank you. Thank you, guys.